So congratulations on the release of Pam and Tommy. How has it been building up to that release and how has it been finally having it out? Uh, I think the buildup is, it's weird to, to do something and then just like nobody knows and you can't really tell anybody. And especially with this, having like a big physical transformation, it feels really good just to like share pictures with people, you know, like my mom was like, well, you're doing what that thing. I'm like, yeah, but I, you know, wasn't really telling you exactly what. So it's just nice to share things. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this was a huge production. Did you learn anything from being on this set? Tons. tons. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, this is the biggest thing I've ever been a part of. And it was, it was gigantic. Like the scope was gigantic and the people working on it, like not just everyone knows about like the huge actors on it, you know, mm -hmm. but even behind the scenes, like the DP, the hair, the makeup, the wardrobe, like, and there's, everyone's like an Emmy winner. And it's just like, <laughs> it's crazy. And I was just like, Hey, like, how are we all doing? You know? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it was, a little bit of like imposter syndrome kind of, but oh, you're 100%. supposed to be there. Yeah. No, I 1000% had imposter syndrome and it, like every moment honestly was a, like a learning moment. It was just nice to just like soak everything in. Mm -hmm. Can you tell fans a little bit about what this show is about? So this is about Pam and Tommy, Pamela Anderson and Tommy <laughs> Lee and uh, what happened with their, like the sort of infamous sex tape. And I think there's a difference between the story everyone thinks they know and then what actually happened and how the perception of them change, especially, you know, Pam's image and that sort of thing. So it explores all of that. Um, I probably can't say anything more than that, though. No, that's a good descriptor. I mean, it is a big part of entertainment history. Was yeah. that a hard part to kind of bring a real character to life opposed to someone who's written up? Yeah, I, yes, it was. I think, <laughs> I think more so just for like myself, I think there's a lot of times with a character, you know, it's your interpretation or like what you bring to it and that sort of stuff. But with someone who's real, there kind of is like, like a right and a wrong or like a so much right you can do. Yeah. And I, I did get nervous about that. I was like, ooh, like- Really? Am I gonna, yeah, like, what if I do a bad job, that sort of stuff. So uh, it did make me like, you know, like brace myself a little bit. And your character, Vince Neal, what can you tell us about him? He's the lead singer of Motley Crue, which is the band that Tommy Lee is in. Um, that's probably all I can tell you. <laughs> what was it like kind of playing him? Like, how did you get into that role? Like, was there a certain way? Did you watch old videos? They, well, they, there's, thankfully, there's a lot out there. So they have, there's an autobiography by the band. Mm -hmm. And then separately, Vince has a biography for just himself. And there's a lot of footage of them performing. And there's also a ton of stuff online. And I, I think, though, honestly, it didn't come together until I had the wig on because I had a blonde wig. Like, I don't look, <laughs> this is not anything that was happening. A lot happening. of hair and makeup happened. A lot of hair and makeup. I had fake tattoos. Okay. Like, everyone in the band had fake tattoos, and it was, like, a whole thing. And so I think even though I had done the research and stuff and I would prepared all, this, all the scenes, it it didn't really come together until I saw the wig and I was like, oh, oh. this is what I'm wearing. This is a different dot, yeah. yeah so that, I mean, you had a transformation for this show. How long did it take for you every day just to get it on? I think the most it ever took was three and a half hours. Really? And that was, but that was the first day where some of it was also a little bit like, do we want this? Do we like, I remember there was this whole, the first day, on set for me was a photo shoot with the band and there was this whole thing about like do we shave his eyebrow like my eyebrows or do we not like they're not going to go back and there's tons of decisions like that where 
you know, like a fake tattoo, if they don't really like it or something, they can remove it, they can place it somewhere else, they can adjust it to make it bigger, smaller. But there were some conversations about like facial hair and they, they ended up did shaving part of my eyebrow. Really? Yeah. How'd you uh, feel about that? <laughs> I loved it. Really? I was all, yeah, I was like, transform me as much as you want. The more change, the better. It was, I was loving every single second of it. We're fully into it. Yeah. So it was like three and a half hours the first time. But after that, it was maybe like two and a half. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, this whole show has an amazing cast, obviously behind the scenes and on camera. Do you have a favorite memory from when you were on set? I have tons of favorite memories. Um, I think that first, all of my scenes were with the band. So Mm -hmm. that's who I got to know the most. And the very first day I was so nervous and it was just a photo shoot, right? Yeah. And we were taking pictures and I'm just like, like (laughs) posing, (laughs) boom, boom. And there was a moment where they they had us in a very specific lineup where it was like, I was here, Sebastian was here, Ike and Chris were here because I was like the lead singer. Mm -hmm. And then after that, they wanted us to play around more. And so we all got in a line and there was a moment where I like, I wanted to put my arms around everyone but I hadn't really like talked to Sebastian at all so I went like this and then I got really nervous really and then yeah I was like oh no should I have said something I was like I haven't really like talked to I haven't even introduced myself yet and because there was no time but like that day specifically my look was taking so much and we were already really behind and then he turns to me and he's like yeah man just go for it and I could just feel my like shoulders drop and I felt so much more comfortable and he set the tone very early on he like he kept doing stuff like that over and over again and I think that's one of my favorite memories because I was just like he was such a good set leader and I was like oh this is like this is what I want to do you know like that's what I want to be for someone else someday so Mm -hmm. I really like that it made me feel so at ease and everyone in the band was super awesome so yeah if you could describe this series in three words, what do you think they would be? Mm, shocking. Uh, what is a word for like turning the lens onto the public? I'm gonna need uh, a dictionary or something. <laughs> <laughs> I need a I need a word that means like 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 I, like self-reflective yeah. for the audience because I think people don't realize as consumers of media that we all have a responsibility and we you know we push certain narratives whether or not they were true and whether or not we had all the information so I think yeah self-reflective I'll call that and then uh fun but that's more because I had a ton of fun fair enough yeah. But talking more about you, do you have any future projects coming up that you could talk about or hint at? Mm, I don't think anything that I'm allowed to say. <laughs> okay, keeping it quiet. Yeah. My last question for you, do you have anything you want to say to any fans who are either watching this interview or watching Pam and Tommy when it's out? I hope you like it. We had a ton of fun making it. I hope, yeah, I hope you like it. That's really it. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for taking the time to do this interview. It was so great to talk to you. Yeah, I had a great time.